Today I'm going to introduce the how to operate Expose 2.0. First, we open the Expose. Click the Start Now. And the first, we have to set the connect. So we go into the connect setting, and here we can see the communication setting. Here we can choose the serial post. Ethernet connection and both are chosen. As we use the USB cable, so we choose the serial port here. So click the OK. And now let's go into go into device search and uh, click the refresh. And here we use the X3P. So here we choose the X3P and uh, choose the device we use. And now the X3P that we use is appeared here. And now let's go into the output solution setting. We can click the output port and the click the modified. And here we can see the solution setting. And uh, we set the solution as the 1920 and 1080 at 60 hertz and we can also choose other solution and we can also use the customized resolution and here we use the standard resolution and then we click the set if we input a 4k signal we have to do the 4k input port properties setting and first we have to set the 4k output port properties so click the, the output port here we use the in, uh, output port one so click the it and uh, click the modify and here we enter the solution setting and here we set the output solution as the 3840 and 2160 at 30 Hz and click the set. And now let's return to the input port property setting. So here we use the HDMI 2.0 port. So here we click the HDMI 2.0 port and then click the modify and then let's go into the 4K setting and here we choose the input type as the HDMI 2.0 and click the set and uh, we can also rewrite the EDID so here is the EDID setting we can use the we can see the display display setting here and now we choose the digital television RGB HDMI 2.0 and here we can see the resolution and the refresh rate and here let's try to rewrite it so we change it to 2550 and the height as 1920 and we set it as 30 hertz so set it And now let's see the display setting. Here we can see the re resolution has been changed. So let's back to the expose. And now let's go into the display system setting. Click the mo modify and here we, ha we have to choose the resolution as the HDMI 2.0 and uh, we drag the template here and the monitor here we use the monitor one if we want to use other monitor we can close this monitor
and here we can see the monitor 1 and monitor is for 4K output. So here we choose the monitor 1 and put it into the template. And then let's go into the layer management. We refresh it. And now we can see the 4K input signal here in the signal list. We drag it into the monitor one and then go into the preset management and click the take. And, and the 4K input signal has displayed on the monitor. So let's back to the 2K setting. And now let's go into the display system and then click the modify. And here we have to modify the template first. We can drag the template here and uh, also we can create the template by ourselves. So if you want to close the template, we have to click the close with and wait for a moment. <coughs> and today I'm going to do to realize the two bank and bank one and the bank two. The bank one is three LCD LED screen and the side of the left one and the right one is the one five zero zero and the seven five zero and the, the size of the center LED screen is three eight four zero and one zero eight zero and the bank two we will open the video in the center of the image B. So now back to the X pose. And we can create the template by ourselves. We first create the left and the right one and the left and the right one. We set the size as one five zero zero and the vehicle as seven five zero and create. And we need two, so we create two. And as the cent as the center 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 LED size is like this, so we drag this the template here. We can see it has the monitor in the template. We also can modify the monitor that we want to put into this template. So we can close this monitor and uh, drag the monitor by ourselves. We drag the monitor file to this one and uh, set the and modify its size to one five zero zero to one five zero and OK. Now let's modify the set modi uh, monitor set. We set it as one five zero zero and the height as seven five zero and OK. And uh, drag the monitor seven to the template three and the monitor eight to the template eight. So now we can modify the size of this template. And now let's go into the layer management. Here we have three signal inputs and two for image and one video. Here for the bank one, Bank one, we want to realize the image A displayed on the right and left screen. 
and the image base display on the <coughs> center display screen. So let's operate it. We drag the signal one to put it into the monitor seven and uh, modified its size to let it cover on the monitor 7 and monitor 8 and then let's drag the signal 3 to put it into the monitor 5 and monitor 6 and now let's go into the preset management and here we click the tape and now we can see the monitor the image is displayed on the monitor so it's bank one we realized it and then let's go and um, let's go back to the layer management let's go into set the bank two so we click the bank two here and here we can see the bank two we want to open a video in the center of the image B and the size is 2000 and 1080. So here, let's back to the expose and operate it. First, we have to drag the signal 1 to the monitor 7 and the monitor 8 and the signal 3 to the monitor 5 and the monitor 6. And now let's open a video in the uh, in the image B. So here, let's modify its position and size. We can use the we can modify its position and the lay uh, and the size here. So here we set its x position as. 9 to 0 and the Y position as 0 and the Y we set it as 2000 and hit it 1080 then we click the set and now let's go to the preset management and then we click the take okay now we can see the monitor the video is open in the center of the image so here, the bank 1 and bank 2 is finished setting. And we can switch, the, uh, switch between the bank 1 and the bank 2. We can choose the bank 1 and the tag. OK, now we can see the bank 1 is displayed on the monitor. And uh, choose from bank 2 and tag. OK, the bank 2 displayed on the monitor. And here we can click the modify button and uh, we can choose the set page and uh, click the page one. And uh, here now this two bank is set in the page one. That's all, thank you.